<sighs> my god. Wow, what a wild and absurd year 2020 has been. And first of all, just to begin this video, I just want to make it very clear. I don't want this to be about politics, all that controversies and negative things that have been happening, but rather, I want this to be about reflecting on the hardships and also positive outcomes that came on this year. 2020 has obviously been, well, quite the year it's been, and so I guess some of us never saw it coming until maybe around this, um, around this time last year when the pandemic first broke out, and um, I hope this video does find you all staying safe and staying strong throughout everything we've been facing this year, ranging from the protests around the world, pandemic, just social concerns, all the, just, it's been a mess, you get my point. But looking back through this year, I think it's safe to say it's been a tough ride for all of us. So I just want to see how you guys are doing. And I'll also be talking about how I've been coping and just some words of encouragement for those who are just painfully suffering right now. And I'm certain that we'll be finding a way out of this soon enough moving into 2021 and I know we'll, 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 we'll get through this together and for now just hang in there. First, Firstly, I'm gonna be touching in about on the channel what I'll be doing for my annual New Year's Eve countdown stream. Yes, it will be happening this year so I'm good to say that and as far as the channel itself goes as you can tell I haven't been that active lately. It's just I guess it's a lack of motivation to upload and plus I've been busy doing other things. I'm like I'm a busy lad now. School takes up a lot of my time which is as expected I guess and uh, as for streaming I've been doing it more on the twitch just on the twitch side of things I don't know if some of you want to check out the twitch channel if you have go check out there I'll be doing the stream will be on there so as I was saying yes the New Year's Eve countdown stream is gonna be happening again this year as I do it annually and this year it's gonna be going ahead through twitch and YouTube yeah that's right in the previous years I've always done it just on YouTube because that's the platform I've been most comfortable with, but ever since moving on through Twitch this year, I've been enjoying it quite a bit. I've also had my own mini community of friends over there, and I figured streaming it on both just using Restream.io would be very convenient for me. And I'm already in the process of planning everything out, and ex you expect to see Flight Sim, my usual games like Minecraft, a bit of Rainbow Six Siege, or maybe some online suggestions, Crunker, Scribble.io, or just chilling with my friends and of course chatting with you guys so that that will happen for the sake of it and of course i'll be voice chatting with my friends just like usual and and just the end goal of it is to have fun because that's what's important isn't it and, and now just for the information the stream will be on 31st of december obviously and it'll be starting at 6 p.m hong kong time which is gmt plus 8 and as i said again streamed on both youtube and twitch so i want to see you guys there and I, I think it'll be good. And like last year was a logistical disaster because I wasn't familiar with the new YouTube algorithm thing. So, but we don't talk about that here, I guess. <laughs> Secondly, let's talk a little bit about this year. So 2020, for me personally, it hasn't been that much of a complete disaster if you ask me. Because I had a lot of things actually planned out in terms of activities, both for school and for me and friends and stuff like that. But Sadly, a lot of it had to be modified and or cancelled just due to the pandemic. Which is a real shame, but it's understandable for the sake of public health safety and all that. So it was a little disappointing for me, but other than that, it's been, a, it's been an emotional year for me in both good and bad ways, really. Mainly because, well, I, what, I, what have I done this year? I spent a lot of this year just becoming better friends with someone. And um, I think that went out quite well, actually. And I've just been trying to branch myself out to understand myself better among others. And I feel communication is just one of those really important things that we need right now in times like these. To me, I've always taken the approach of trying to understand others and just uh, I want to understand why they believe in the things they do. If, even if it's something stupid to me, I just want to see I want to see what their logistical kind of thinking is behind it. Just to see a grasp of what they're like. I just want to understand others. That's really what I've fallen through all, every time. And I always want to just try to keep an open, open mind no matter the circumstances. And to me, this is what I feel is the right thing. Sometimes it is difficult for me because I feel that I, but even though, despite that, I guess I would say I pull through quite well of it. And like ever since I was younger and I, for a long time now, I've always promised myself to maintain a positive mental attitude. And I think that's what really fuels my motivation for pulling through these difficult times really and mentally 
I think I'm doing quite well. Which is very difficult for a lot of people to say right now, unfortunately. And I mean, I admit, sometimes I do look down on myself a lot. But then, I'm al- for me, I'm always reminded about the support that I do have. Maybe, maybe it's from the, co- the online communities and friends I've made through there. And also, my family. And of course, the friends that I have. I am always, and I'm forever grateful f- that I have them by my side. And it really just warms me. And I think just having these support holes in your life is one of the most important things you should have because we need to show each other that we care, especially with everything going on right now. And it's just really difficult for people. Just times like these in the pandemic, it just makes pe- it just breaks people and it tears people apart more than anything, really. So for everyone who is struggling mentally right now, which I can definitely imagine is a lot of you because the pandemic changes everything so much just in terms of daily life being isolated from your friends the lack of social interaction maybe you lost family members due to the due to covid maybe they've lost their jobs maybe even worse but hang in there we'll get through this together the world really is a mess right now ranging from all the politics and just the mess going on right there it's just it's re- it's really sickening to see sometimes We've turned from helping others to being pitted against each other for the sake of personal gain. And of course, there's that idea of like self-defense, self-love, but they're like, come on, I feel we can be better than this, can't we? Because I believe that right now, what we really need is just unity and for humans to be humans and work together to grow and improve. Of course, disputes are inevitable in life, but Sometimes disputes can give way to new thoughts and new beliefs in order for us to understand better. And one thing I've always told my friends is you need to be able to just love yourself in order to love others. And for those who are suffering, let me tell you, you are definitely not alone in this fight. But I completely get that feeling of lost hope. I've seen it myself, I've experienced it myself. I've seen it in friends. I like I know like I know a friend that he was on the verge of suicide and my let me tell you that hit me very that hit me very deep so but he's doing well now thankfully and if you're watching this you I hope you're still doing well I've never told this to you directly but just just so you know that I do care and I don't want to see you guys suffer like of course stuff like school this year grades and all of that like grades especially with where I am right now, that puts a lot of stress on me, of course, but I'm, I'm still motivated to do well, because at this point, I feel everyone is just looking to get through the pandemic, get through these last few years of schooling before university, college, or whatever you want to call it. I think there's this se- the secret of change is to focus all the energy not on fighting old, but more on building the new. And this is what Socrates said, and this is, I think this is a very powerful quote that we should all take into hand. There's just so much negativity, so much bitterness out there. But just try to focus and remember about what motivates you and what makes you feel happy. For me, it's definitely friends. F- family? Mo- my motivation for success and helping others. These four things, for me, is what is what's really important to my values. For you, it might be completely different on how you come to terms with your feelings. That's completely fine. We all cope differently, so it's completely fine. Now, one thing I've definitely observed aside from all the negativity is just how some people can really come together and lift our moods during these tough times. Recently, I've been thinking about writing an album and talking about my feelings and just thoughts these few months and maybe even years so if i was to do a little release not not anything big maybe spotify maybe soundcloud i'll share it with friends and family that's fine there i expect that to come in june or so i might upload it to this youtube channel you never know so that i'm really looking forward to and it'll only be like five songs or so so nothing insane and music is something that I, I love to use in order to distract myself it gives me a lot of ideas I find it really soothing and it's great how people can come together to make music to especially help us during these times because music is something that a lot of people fall onto to relax and just give themselves in a better mood I play instruments myself 
So like, what do I play? So trumpet, piano, I've self-taught myself some other instruments. And I've done some performance stuff this year virtually. So like virtually with a camera, I'm playing with a backing track and all that. My friends, it's a big challenge and something we're not used to, but I'd say it paid off at the end. And if if you guys like brass keys and slide, if you got if any of you guys are watching, it worked out. So better than nothing, am I right? Mental health is also something that we really need to look at right now. Sadly, some people just disregard it. It's like, why are you being sad? Just be happy. It's not that simple, really. Mental health is important, and we really need to look after it and get a, be a better understanding of others, and it just puts more emphasis on it as a whole. So many right now just suffer from suicidal thoughts, anxiety, depression, much more. And this pandemic only makes it much worse. It's really sad for me to see, really. And we've come to a point where so many people feel like this. It's like it's hopeless in a sense. But we really owe a lot to not just the people we care for, but frontline essential workers. They're working tirelessly and working their ass off just to save lives, save us, keep us safe, and of course, keep the world functioning. And I think they, that they really deserve our support right now. <sighs> so I know this is a longer video that I don't always do with these kinds of camera face-to-face -face interactions. And yes, I wrote myself a script and it's right in front of the camera right now. But going through into the new year, obviously celebrations are going to be more muted this year, of course, because of lockdowns and all of that. But that aside, I hope that you will all continue to stay strong and pull through whether or not you do celebrate Christmas or any other kind of holiday or maybe Hanukkah, even though that's already passed. But yeah, there's not really not much, really not much more for me to say. Sometimes I'm stuttering off my words. I'm only doing this in one take. So, but and this is just the more casual one-on-one -on -one video, and one of those more serious ones that I don't usually do. And yeah, I guess that's it. And remember, the live stream will be happening 31st, 6 p.m. HK time, which is GMP plus eight. We'll be starting off with a flight sim flight first. I won't be telling you the destination now. I'll tell you down the stream. And of course, the last thing is. Be sure to reach out to those that you really care about and make sure they're doing well. Make sure you show them that you have that they have the support that they need from you and others around them. And happy holidays and to everyone who celebrates. Merry Christmas to those around the globe who celebrate. And of course, we hope that 2021 gives us a glamour of hope. So that's all I have to say really. Stay safe. Happy holidays and take care of yourself and others. And that's really all for today. See you at the live stream.